Wow. He took out everything but the cobwebs. Well, I cleaned up all of them, too, didn't I? Hi, sweetheart. Hi. So I read your financials. Your grand proposal is fabulous. Okay. Look at the monkey. Yes. William's famous monkey. And when William was in this office, I was afraid to even knock. I didn't want to interrupt his concentration. Yeah, well, it's your office now, honey bunch. Oh, it's still daunting. As a businessman, he's a tough act to follow. Nora, I have known you my entire life. Insecurity was never one of your issues. Well, if I was so secure, then how come I married a man who never encouraged me to be anything except a wife and a mother? What are you talking about? You haven't been doing charity work for years and years. I've been throwing parties. I have to raise $17 million before I can even open this house. I can't even make one damn chart. What? Let me see. Uh, why do these people need visual aids? Why can't they just sit there and listen? And, and supposedly it's bad form if you put more than six words on a slide. It's not communicating, it's haiku. No, that is a perfect pie chart. <gasps> oh, I hate you. You did it. At least I did one productive thing today. Why don't you let me do your oh, bullet points? I'm doing those. I've already done them, actually. And I have to do all of this myself. That's the whole idea. Oh, I thought the idea was to help families with sick children. That's not. What is it? Not enjoying your retirement? I am. I'm enjoying it perfectly. I enjoyed my walk today, a cup of coffee. I enjoyed reading the newspaper. So, you have all of this fabulous time now. You have to figure out what you want to do with it. Be creative. Set a new goal. Okay. I'll take a nap. Uh, Saul. Yeah? Set a new goal. Hey, guys. Uh, sorry, a little problem. I just realized I'm not going to be able to go with you to the vineyard today. I've got a long-standing dinner with Saul. Tommy, that meeting has been on the books for weeks. I, I don't want to make a design decision without a second opinion. Yeah, but Rebecca can do it. She's got a great eye. Yeah, I'm sure she'd really appreciate you pawning your work off on her. No, you know, actually, I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, if you don't mind. See? Problem solved. Thank you, Mike. I don't set an alarm. And I still can't sleep past 6 a.m. I mean, I'm going to be 70, Tommy. I don't, I don't know why I find retirement so strange. I knew it. What? You miss the action. <laughs> oh, I do. Yes, you do. No. A little bit? Yeah. Maybe a little. Yeah. Well, anytime you want to return to your stomping grounds, we could never find a better CFO. So, how's Julia? She's better. You know, I mean, uh, Elizabeth is a lot of work. And what about Holly? How's all that going? Not a conflict to speak of. Oh, come on, Tommy. I find that hard to believe. None of you understand that she's actually a decent partner. She wants the company to be a success, and she carries her share of the workload, so... I'm so happy that everything's going so well. Let me feel your glass feet. Okay. I'm not saying our working relationship is unmanageable, but, but how do I forget the way she came into the company? You know, another thing is, is Rebecca. She's sweet. I love her like a sister turned not sister and now my brother's girlfriend. And she does a great job. But it just it feels like their family business. Uh, I don't know, Saul. About what? All of it. What are you, my shrink? <laughs> no, I'm your uncle. I just want you to know that if there ever comes a time when you want Holly gone, you're gonna rub her out? She's a co-owner. Sarah would come back in a second. What, what are you talking about? If getting rid of Holly becomes a goal of yours, I want you to know that I would make it mine too. That's all.